Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with a remarkably large capacity wallet case for iPhone XS Max from the folks at Senna. This is a leather wallet case made of a lovely quality leather. It offers you three feet of drop protection, which is not quite military standard, but really not bad for this type of a case. And interestingly, they've decided to put all of their card storage on the back rather than going with the more standard folio style. Now, most of the time when you have card storage on the back, you've got a lot of exposed cards. But with the wallet skin, what you have is actually a bifold wallet that is secured with a nice little snap here. So once you open it up, you can see we have four card slots. We have an ID pocket. There is a cash pocket. And then once it's closed, Closed up again you can see that there's actually one more slot here on the exterior maybe this is good for say a key card or something like that so lots of capacity on this it's not the thinnest case in the world but it's made of a really nice material and it is really very useful so let's take a closer look at this on my iPhone 10s Max in gold Taking a look at the construction of the phone case compartment, as I said, this does give you three feet of drop protection. It is part of Senna's Drop Safe Rugged program. The interior is lined with a soft microfiber, very gentle against the back of your phone, feels very nice. And as you can see, we've got these protective ridges on the inside, definitely helping giving you that three feet of drop protection. So getting your phone in here is quite easy. Simply just start with the one side and then clip it in. In. Very, very easy to install and it's quite easy to take off as well. Although once on, you've got a pretty good fit on here. A uh, little bit more give over your volume up and down buttons and at the bottom, but overall I think that the fit is nice on here. We do have some lip on here. It's not a super high lip, but is going to give you some degree of protection on here. Although unlike many wallet cases, we don't have the folio cover to give you additional protection for your screen, so be aware of that. You might want to use this with some sort of a screen protector, given that we don't have tons of lip on here, but still, there is some. So looking down here at our port openings, they are reasonably generous. The lightning port will handle some third-party lightning cables, probably not all, but definitely some, and everything is nicely aligned here. Going around to the side, we have a nice degree of grip on here. This is the sort of leather grip that you have. It's not terribly grippy, but neither is it slippery, and it tends to feel better over time once your leather case gets a little bit broken in. But this is generally a very soft, nice feeling leather. Our buttons are covered, and they are quite responsive. No issues there, and there's no problem in getting to your mute switch. Going over here to our side button. Side button, again, is a covered button, which is nice and is quite responsive. No problems there. So opening up this case, we have a magnetic snap here on the back. Works really well, very secure. Looking at our card slots, as I said, we have a total of four card slots, one ID pocket, a cash pocket, and then we've got this extra bonus pocket on the outside. So it's quite easy to get cards in and out of here. I think that the material is uh, really well made and everything is well designed on here. Let's put some cards in here so I can show you what I mean. So let's start here with this one. And no, for those of you that are worried, that's not my real credit card. That's actually just a promotional thing that came in the mail. So closing this up, even when you have all of your card slots filled, everything works really well. And this closes without any trouble. And then finally, of course, we do have this nice little external pocket here, which I think is a great feature of this. I love the fact that you can have this additional uh, card out here and you can access it without opening up all of the rest of the wallet. I think that that is a much more secure way of doing it. A lot of people go around with ID cards or, or key cards or something like that that they're going to use on a regular basis and that is perfect for this spot here. So everything is extremely secure here. Nothing's going to fall out. Um, you're not going to have any problems in that regard. The one thing that you might be wondering about is wireless charging. So the the deal with the wireless charging is that it's not going to work when this uh, section here is folded closed. Absolutely not. I've tried it. It will not work. If you open it up and you lay your phone with just this section on there, 
and you take out the cards, it's going to work fine. You really shouldn't do wireless charging with cards in here because it is likely to have a negative effect on your cards. I mean, some people say they do it and they don't have any problem, but then there's also people out there that say, hey, it wiped my card, and that's really not very good. So if you're going to use this with wireless charging, just take out your cards and put it on the wireless charger and it works fine as long as you have the flap open. So you just have to basically open this up and then lay it flat on the wireless charger and you're going to be in good shape. So is this the thinnest case in the world? Absolutely not. You can see here, this definitely adds thickness to the phone. However, there are a lot of people out there that like carrying a bunch of cards around in their phone case. And if you're one of those people, then this is a whole lot nicer than those nasty stick-on wallet thingies that you can put on the back of your phone case. And I think in a lot of ways, it's a lot nicer than having an overstuffed folio case because usually those overstuffed folio cases don't close properly. This at least is going to close properly and I think it's really a pretty elegant solution for carrying a whole bunch of cards in your phone case. Um, large capacity here, nice leather, good construction, and really a clever design. So lots to love here about this case for iPhone XS Max. Again, we've been looking at the wallet skin by Senna for iPhone XS Max. This case is available directly from Senna as well as from other retailers, and it has an MSRP of $69.95. It comes in the lovely black color shown here, as well as a saddle and a red option. Many thanks to the kind folks at Senna for sending me out this sample to review. If you have any questions about this product, please feel free to put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please do consider it, because I have lots more great case reviews yet to come. Again, this is Kristen with Wallet Skin by Senna for iPhone XS Max. Have a fantastic day.